This module looks at security during plant operation. There's no perfect solution that guarantees the security of a solar plant. The best solution combines both local staff and remote security systems. A PV facility contains many expensive elements and there is the constant threat of theft or robbery. That is the main reason to install security systems. The effects of theft is not just the cost of replacing what's stolen. It will also most likely result in production losses, particularly for systems installed in isolated areas with long unattended periods. A good security system is essential. Here's a list of possible security systems that could be used. The first is local staff. Then we have the video surveillance, perimeter sensors, panel sealing, array controllers, infrared controllers and microwave movement detectors. During the next slides we will study all of these systems. Here we have a scheme of a solar plant security system with all the devices that could be installed to increase security. We go through the devices in the next slide. Local staff are usually the most important element in the security system. Having people about is a most discouraging site for potential thieves. There is the option of hiring your own staff or bringing in a security service company. The biggest drawback is the expense. It can have quite an impact on plant profitability. More and more solar plants have installed video surveillance as the technology has improved and the prices drop. There's a choice between closed circuit TV solutions and those using internet protocols. Closed circuit is an older technology that requires a dedicated transmission bus. It's often more expensive than an IP based solution. In fact, IP based solutions are to be recommended. They provide good quality and good transmission nowadays with less need for wiring and therefore less cost. Many video surveillance systems come with integrated devices that work as both an encoder and a decoder of the video system, while also allowing the addition of alarms and relays so that the PV facility can be monitored and controlled remotely. These systems normally, use in, uh, you normally integrate a greater storage capacity and allow the addition of a range of devices to the different tasks. Commercial solutions that integrate all devices are not so expensive nowadays, they work well and they're to be recommended. It's possible to build in video analyzers that use specialized software to detect movement in the vicinity of the solar plant. The only disadvantage is that this kind of system remains a little expensive. A cost benefit analysis should be carried out before the system is installed. Today's video cameras routinely offer uh, zooms of 60 magnitude giving the user a range of several kilometers. They also come with infrared technology for night recordings within a range of 1.5 kilometers. However, solar plant designers tell us that the effective night range of the infrared systems on offer is really no more than 150 meters. There are a number of anti-intruder systems in the market, but the most important ones are the perimeter pressure systems and the presence sensors. Perimeter sensor systems activate an alarm if movement is detected at the boundaries of the PV facility. These kinds of sensors can be installed on the fence, which may be more vulnerable, or buried underground, which is better, but also more expensive. The best solutions on the market use optical fibre. They are unaffected by storms or electrical systems and can withstand great temperature changes. They can discriminate between false and genuine alarms or detect if the fibre has been cut. At the bottom right of the slide, you can see the recommended method for installing these schemes, systems. A presence sensor detects both thermal energy variations and movements by integrating infrared and microwave technologies. These kinds of systems are quite difficult to configure as they're only activated if both the thermal variation and the movement are detected. Problems may occur in fog or during the hours of darkness. It's possible to configure these systems to send an alarm if just one of the two variations is detected, but that might produce a lot of false alarms. Despite the difficulties configuring these systems and despite the large numbers of false alarms, the systems are effective at discouraging intruders. 
A panel sequence is a wire attached to every panel in the solar facility, often an optical fibre is used, and if the fibre is cut, an alarm is triggered. There is also a variation that uses an electrical current, but some of the thieves already understand the technology and can sabotage or bypass it to steal from the solar plant. If a panel sequence system is part of your plans, the optical fibre solution is a recommended option. With an array controller, you can control the power produced by the panels on a daily basis and also use it for the monitoring system. It offers added value because its integrated fuses provide an additional layer of plant system protection. During the night, an array controller can detect cuts or breaks in the electric cabling, even when there's no voltage or current. These are relatively new systems, so you should look carefully at the costs. It's important to install local alarms that sound when a monitoring or security system incident occurs. It instantly draws local staff's attention to incidents and lighting or sirens are extremely effective at discouraging intruders. Text messages that follow a security incident requesting local police or other authorities to attend the solar plant are increasingly common. The best alarm solutions will vary depending on the plant's accessibility, visibility and distance from any security support. The choice will be whether you want to alert the authorities or dissuade intruders, or possibly a combination of both. A relatively new security option is known as virtual patrols. The security system is outsourced to a surveillance agency who may install video all over the facility. The cameras enable them to patrol the solar plant remotely and notify the authorities whenever there is a cause for security concerns. Virtual patrols may combine with actual patrols as a means of dissuading intruders. Where rooftop systems are remote or and easily, are easily accessible, a security system is recommended. Whether the PV is housed on a rooftop or mounted on the ground, the system owners should invest in a comprehensive insurance against risk. The insurance should cover them for both theft of materials and production losses due to thefts or maintenance issues.